Uh, Christine is here along with her attorney, Armin McCumber, and they're joining us. Hello to both of you. Christine, first tell us why it escalated to the level where police were called. Did somebody go in to the restroom after you and complain? Did the manager attempt to talk to you while you were helping your son use the bathroom? She came in. Thank, good morning. Thank you for having us. Yes. Um, she came in with a very aggressive angry demeanor and approached my son and she was inches away from him. So I asked her if there was a problem to which she responded, yes, he should not be in the bathroom. I then explained that he was disabled and she kind of stood her ground and didn't care and kind of said, you know, uh, a grown man or a boy should not be in the women's bathroom. Uh, then she shouted out, um, this is not a transgender bathroom. And I, I also had asked for a superior or a manager at that point because I knew I was dealing with somebody that wasn't able to have an intelligent conversation with me regarding my son being disabled and needing to use the bathroom with me. Um, and she told me I was getting kicked out. I was surrounded by armed security. I know one security guard had a gun on him. My son was watching this and then she called the police department. Um, and they explained that this was a private entity, and unfortunately, they had a right to um, ask me to leave. So, Armin, it, it, and, and I mean, we can't presume what that manager was thinking, except for if this is true, that she said something about this is not a transgender bathroom. Clearly, there's been a big debate over bathrooms in our country for exactly that reason. And maybe viewers at home are thinking, well, what's the big deal? Because so many companies allow people of all genders to use the bathroom, um, but especially, you know, having seen that this young child, 15, maybe he's tall and looks like an adult, uh, but a special needs child with his parent. Uh, how do you explain this as discrimination? In New Jersey, so this is a disabled child who was in a place of public accommodation, uh, was just looking to enjoy the same public accommodations that we all do. And in New Jersey, if, you, if you're a member of a protected class, if you have a disability, uh, in this situation, you cannot be denied uh, the right to that public accommodation. That's a violation of our law against discrimination. So he went there. Like anybody else, he has the right to access a place of public accommodation. He wanted to use a facility, a bathroom. This was the only means available to him. Uh, there is no family bathroom. He cannot independently toilet. This was all he could do. And for exercising that right under our law to go to the bathroom um, <laughs> while, while trying to see a movie, he was removed, discriminated against, harassed, um, and ultimately ejected from the movie theater. Y you shouldn't be able to do that anywhere, but you definitely can't do it here in New Jersey. But, but how do you prove a case for discrimination when it doesn't appear that anybody was preventing him from using it? They responded because they thought he should not be using a bathroom that was not his gender. Well, I think, well, first of all, I, that, that's a distinction without a difference, number one. Number two, anyone with ordinary vision and intelligence uh, when they encountered this situation. I could understand if the manager had a question, uh, but once it became clear to the manager, and it should have been clear to anybody, it was clear to people in the bathroom at the time uh, that this was a child with a disability. Uh, mom advised the manager what was going on, and the manager didn't back down. The manager didn't say, my bad, whoops, now I understand the situation. She doubled down on the discrimination and harassment. She brought in security, armed security, uh, she retreated to her office and sent out her assistant manager to call the police and have them forcibly ejected. She was not going to back down. I don't know what was going on in her mind. I mean, it's it's completely asinine, if you ask me. Uh, but you can't do that here. And again, if it were an innocent inquiry, I could understand it. That's not what happened here. Yeah. Uh, what happened is uh, my client <laughs> and his mother were forcibly denied the opportunity they should have had to use a bathroom like anybody else in our society. And Christine and Armin, I'll let you address this, but obviously a lot of people could see this as a manager overreacting or not acting reasonably, but why make the decision to sue Cinemark? Well, I mean, I'll, I'll let mom answer that. I will say this is a person, a manager who has been trained purportedly, supposedly, to effectuate the policies and procedures um, that Cinemark has in place uh, to allow anybody, including those with disabilities, to access places of public accommodation. That obviously, you know, that obviously did not happen here. Right, right, right. So, let's let's let Christine speak before we have sure. to go to commercial break. I apologize. Sure, sure. Re real quick, I want to make one point. We've been going to this theater for 12 years. My husband normally takes my son and we go into the men's bathroom. My go-to at this point and the stage of his development is absolutely a family bathroom. I've been to many facilities even in the last month 
Ruth Chris, Newark Airport, smack in the middle of a men's and women's bathroom is a family bathroom. So if I did something wrong because Cinemark doesn't have a family bathroom, I want to know what I should have done in that situation. And I'm speaking for many millions of families that have disabled people in their home, uh, in their in their families that can't use bathrooms independently. So Cinemark needs to come forward because they haven't responded or commented on what one's supposed to do in this situation. Why did I go public with this? Because I feel like I have a moral and ethical obligation to my community at this point. I could have very easily sued privately and not been on any shows, um, but I felt like this was really important. We need to set a precedent, not just for Cinemark, but for all major businesses and corporations in New Jersey and this country. This can't happen again. This is 2023. We have millions of people who can't use bathrooms independently. They need to go to the bathroom safely with dignity and integrity, just like everyone else. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.